Sometimes in algebra, we neglect our use of words, and we're not used to seeing an equation described in word form. But it's, it's a useful exercise to be able to talk about things and describe what they are using English. So in this example, look what it's saying. It's saying, suppose you have a function f of x, okay, defined as this thing, and another function g of x defined as this thing. Find a value such that the sum of these two functions equals 3. So if I turn that into an equation, watch what's going to happen. This is simply saying f of x plus g of x equals 3. That's all this thing is saying, and it says figure out what x is. Well, f of x is 10x plus 6. g of x is 2 times 4 minus 8x, right? And the sum of those two equals 3. So now we've got ourselves an algebra equation. Solving this should be a straightforward exercise of combining like terms and so on. Distributing the multiplication in this case, so 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times negative 8, negative 16. And now I keep on going. 10x and negative 16x are going to combine to make negative 6x. 6 and 8 combine to make 14. See, this is getting simpler pretty fast. Uh, I can subtract, I can add 6x to each side. That'll be nice. So I get 6x plus 3, and then I subtract 3 from each side. I get 11 equals 6x, which means 11 divided by 6 equals x. Sometimes you will also get fractions as your answer, and that's okay. It's not your fault. It's the person who made the equation. In this case, if x equals 11 over 6, then the sum of these two equations, or these two functions, will be 3.